Hello, my name is uh, Aina Bjorgu. I'm uh, the director of the UNOSAD program with the UN Institute for Training and Research uh, based here in Geneva in Switzerland. Um, UNOSAT is the Operational Satellite Applications Program of uh, our institute, and it's a program that has been around for quite a while, uh, back since 2001, focusing on the use of um, satellite imagery applications um, in support of the uh, United Nations, its agencies, but also very much uh, contributing um, with analysis in support of, of uh, countries. So um, the UNOSAT um, program is basically focusing on uh, satellite imagery analysis, but also training and capacity development on this technology. So in that sense, we often uh, meet people and we discuss with people you know, from uh, government sectors around the world um, that have a need for satellite imagery uh, and derived information. Not necessarily satellite imagery per se, but satellite imagery derived information. And what we see that often is that uh, you know, for them, it's extremely important that um, whatever is developed, it's sustainable. Um, there's been many, many pilot projects uh, around demonstrating uh, the use of technologies. But what we typically hear from them is that you need to make uh, these services and these uh, products sustainable. So that can either be, be through feeds, uh, information feeds uh, that are sent to them, or also, you know, in many cases, governments wants to make their own, uh, and also UN agencies huh, wants to make their own uh, analysis. So being able to be sustainable in that sense, uh, I think um, links to, to many aspects. Um, both, of course, the sustainability of the technology itself, and um, that we can have uh, satellite images that are, we know that they're gonna be there, uh, and the sensor is gonna be there, it's gonna be providing uh, information, which we use in order to make uh, informed decisions over time. So the, the temporal aspect is very important. And I think also there, um, space and, and, and Earth observation has uh, a good track record. Uh, look at the uh, Landsat series, it's been there since 1972. So uh, I think uh, that the time aspect is very important. Then of course, uh, another in interesting aspect in this, and uh, I think also where space uh, has some great benefits, is that um, you can apply the same technology in so many different areas. And that is also what, in the end, will help make this uh, technology sustainable and will feed uh, a feedback loop of sustainability, if you like, into to this uh, type of, of uh, technology. So uh, when we when we see about <clears throat> um, satellite imagery and, and uh, derived information, um, we know today that, of course, you have the sustainable development uh, agenda with its 17 uh, development goals. It's part of an overarching uh, aspect, uh, uh, an overarching framework, let's say, called the, the uh, Sustainable Development Agenda. And when we, we see how satellite images can, can feed into that, it's quite astonishing. Because here we have also global data that are um, collected um, every day. Uh, and there are not that many sensors and, and information sources, if you like, that has that capacity capability. So, uh, so satellite images are actually, you know, and that type of, of part of the space uh, business is something that has a profound impact and will have an increasingly profound impact on um, uh, development. So uh, not only can we, can we measure some of the, of, uh, of the many indicators that have been defined, but also satellite images is simply helping um, uh, countries with information so that they can derive their own policies, making sure that um, uh, information is shared among agencies. And this is objective information that is shared among agencies. So satellite images, you know, you, there are well-defined um, uh, aspects of this that ensures um, uh, scientific approaches to, to deriving products from this type of, of uh, data. And um, being able to do that from a, from a national perspective is extremely important. So having, uh, you know, uh, uh, both um, a long track record, having um, universities, research always providing and, and finding out new good uh, solutions for um, how to make uh, derived product out of this, be it uh, looking at deforestation, be it looking at uh, environmental um, uh, emergencies. Uh, in our case, we often look at uh, the effects from, from natural hazards and once we come into crisis situations. Uh, and we see how extremely important this, uh, this information source is. 
And we've done that over time. And what is interesting now, and I think this is also where sustainability becomes very important, is that um, satellite imagery uh, now is starting to actually be taken seriously, if you like. It's not that it's never been taken serious, but it's been taken serious in the sense that it is now becoming part of decision-making processes. Before, it was a little bit, um, I would say, a tool uh, for technicians uh, and that could you know, give you useful information. But now what we see is that this type of information is being integrated into decision-making. And once you do that, then you're also um, feeding into a sustainability aspect of, of these type of technologies. So I think uh, what we what we have seen developing now over time is is that satellite images um, used uh, used to be a tool uh, for the experts, and now we're seeing it little by little. We're not quite there yet, and we do need to definitely make effort. But def uh, but what we see is that little by little, this technology is becoming a tool. Um, at the country level. And this is what uh, we as uh, the United Nations and, and the EU Institute for Training and Research is very much focusing on. We want to see these capa capacities being developed in countries so that national entities themselves can make use of space technologies. So um, uh, we have, as I said, uh, a fantastic opportunity here. We have global data for global goals. And this is something um, that we can definitely be, be, be proud of. And, uh, and I think that the satellite images are, are perfect in that sense. So um, the information that countries will have to play with in the future is going to be so much better, it's going to be so much more. And uh, I'm quite optimistic in terms of sustainability because uh, there's a lot of things that's been changing lately, as we all know, um, but uh, being able to monitor things from remote is also definitely something that people are really getting their eyes out for. So in that terms, uh, satellite images have, uh, I believe, has a huge, uh, very bright future. And, uh, and I'm sure that it will be uh, feeding into many, many important decision-making processes and, and much more than today. Um, but also, of course, important to make sure that the systems are operational, that they are um, uh, predictable, and uh, that they are also uh, coming uh, at, uh, at the cost that countries can, can uh, afford. And again, there, of course, very, very nice to see uh, many data becoming, uh, are already available, um, open, free and open source. So, so uh, that's another important aspect for this. And, uh, and I think that um, uh, we will see lots of great use of satellite images moving forward. So thank you very much.